<laughs> I've been talking ever since we got here. I've That's been, good. You I've been needed, talking, talking, talking. She talking. needed to talk. Therapy. I did because I'm not crying now. I'm, I'm. There is something <laughs> that's called. I watch a lot of this stuff on TV, but there's a lot of things. It's over in the UK. I don't know if Florida has it or the United States, but it's called talk therapy. Talk you therapy. Just, yeah. You just go yeah. and you talk to this therapist and just. Like you've been doing. Yeah. They're your top therapists over oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wish somebody could answer. Y'all answer me right on this therapy I have to stuff. wait for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you can personal messenger on on something. Some of y'all are her friends. Are, are Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Facebook. Yeah. A lot of thoughts. Because mm. a lot of people that have this. good. You want a popsicle? No. Nah. I don't want one. I, I, the, my problem with them popsicles, the reason I'm addicted to them, is I can't just be satisfied with one. Really? Yeah, I'll just get up and go get another one. Oh and that's gosh. not good. Even though it's, uh, even though it's only 70 calories. Oh, that ain't bad. A, you can eat two of them. Yeah, I know, I do. Yeah. And really, 70 calories isn't that bad. No. And the carbs is 19, and if I do my shot and take my pills, I'm fine. Did you do your shot today since we got home? Yeah. Remember yeah. Billy had it right okay. here? He took it over there. Just making sure. Yeah. Shots before you eat. She's got a big old sign on her mirror. Billy put it. that sign in there. He's got one on the refrigerator. He had one on the microwave, but it's gone. Shots before He watches. He takes care of his mommy real good. Yes, he does. He definitely does. You're lucky. Yeah, I know. I'm thankful. Yeah. We ain't gonna get on that subject, and then I'll cry. I know. <laughs> I cried enough today. <laughs> I'm not, so tired of crying. It's not my turn. I'm stressed about the things. I'm just so tired of it. I just don't know what to do. And I'm really worried about this court date where the hospital's suing me for the bill. I just never heard of such a thing. I thought it went to bad credit, and you know yeah, me they too. wrote it off. What hospital is this? That Bavira. Who in the heck are they? It's it's the only other hospital here. They changed their name from something else to Bavira. Don't what was it before? Heck, I don't even know. <laughs> I guess if anything happens, I'm going to have to go to Oak Kill. Yeah. Crow Kill. Crow that's Kill. That's where John was. I'm going to have to. If something goes wrong and I have an emergency, I'm going to have to go there. And that's... They, everybody says don't go there. They kill people. The Undertakers that came out here even said that. Really? They go to about two or three times a day to that Oak Kill. Oak Kill. It's really Oak Hill, but we call it Kill. Oak Kill and Crow Kill. Yeah. That's crazy. Even the um, hospice nurse said the same thing. I mean, I don't know what to do. And I know I have a tape of my mom's voice, and I heard her, and because I listened to some of it. I have never listened to the whole thing. It's hard to listen to it. Um, but I heard her say that, I guess, since she didn't have any insurance, I guess that I'll just have to die. Good Mama thing. wasn't scared of dying because Mama knew where her heart was. Marie's got questions about that. Well, I know where my heart is, but is it really there? <laughs> you know, it, I know where my heart is. I know where my heart is, but I, I feel like some things that I do in life, and I'm not going to say what they are, but I feel like some things that I do in life that God wouldn't approve of, and then I won't make it to heaven. I don't know. I'm just... Anybody on here, preachers? That would be nice. Megan, you in the um, Megan's an or ordained minister. Yeah, but anybody could be a Thomas is too. That's true. Though. I think Thomas is too an ordained minister. That's true. Yeah. Even Charlie was an ordained minister. Yeah. So and anybody, you can you never people mind. Get or, people get ordained so that they can marry you. Oh well. Like anyhow, is anybody on here a real preacher? <laughs> You don't, I don't know what you don't know what I mean. Not really. Doesn't have to be. I don't okay, know. Okay, then. Does anybody in here know the Bible real well? Yeah, that's what I. How mean. about that? I want a website that I can go that they read the Bible in a year or whatever that they read through the Bible, and then I can just start at the beginning and just go through it. But then I might, you know, sometimes some things scare me. Does the Bible scare you guys? Tell me because some things scare me. 
And I, one thing that I never understood was why should, why does it say that we should fear God? What do you think about that? Why should we fear God? If he's a merciful God, why do we fear him? I don't know, but I know that we were all born with a free spirit and we make our own choices in life. It's not God's fault when something bad happens to us. It's just we chose the wrong path the wrong to go. Path. Yeah. But why, if I was God, and I, I know I'm not, I'm not comparing myself to God, but I think I wouldn't let that guy kidnap them girls and kill them or rape them or murder them. I would take him out before he did it to them. I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Like before that woman could kill somebody, I would take her out. But that's, then I guess, I don't know. That's us if we were God, but we're not. So, And we're not supposed to question him. We're not supposed to question. So why, you know... What? But we have to get answers before we decide what what we want out of life or what. I don't know. It's so confusing. Sometimes I wonder if we just die and we just go in the grave and that's the end of us. But Mark, I wasn't raised that I way. I was going to play her a song, but I can't play it with this. I wasn't raised that way. I know. I can't play it with this. But it's, the, it's called, I told you about Oh, yeah, we sang it already about ain't no grave gonna hold my body Ain't down. no grave gonna hold my body down. And then there was another one called Something's Going On in the Graveyard. I wanted to play you that Something's one. Something's Going On in the Graveyard. Yeah, I'll play it to you okay. as soon as we're not on the okay. thing. Because yeah. if we're on there, it's gonna be right. It's gonna you. give me a copyright strike. Yeah. But um, we could do it. Um, How come some people get a copyright thing and other people on videos can play all kinds of music they just they don't um they probably not, don't monetize it they don't get paid for it okay they take the strike and just don't worry about getting paid for it okay i don't know i guess that's how it is maybe they're rich i they don't, don't know. have to have the money are you done talking no i'm oh. just looking for a song when well, you oh. you're talk of talk some more oh man i'm looking I, for something real quick. i'm talked out somebody okay. talk to me yeah talk, <laughs> talk to marie talk to me uh, maybe I should do a, a talk show, a panel talk show. I want to learn. I, I, I did it a long time ago. I did, um, I think it was, I was just talking to Thomas about this the other night. Um, I can't remember the program. When you put people up on panel, I used to do it a lot. Um, I haven't done it for a long time. But um, You did that on, in, on the video? On, on live streams. Not on the oh, stream, live streams. On stream. live streams. Um, stream yards. I think it was stream yards. I need to figure out how to do that again. You got people to come on yeah. and talk? Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of people do that. What's it called? Mm -hmm. You uh, put them up on panel. Stream yeah. Yards, but think. it's called something else. Um, I don't know. Uh, Joe's sister does it all the time. Oh. And I can't think what it's called. Bring people on the panel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Call something, though. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm looking for a song to play for Marie. <laughs> I'm looking for the name of the group that sings it so I can tell y'all to look it up. Oh. Because okay. Marie can't play it on here. She'll get copyrighted. We could put it on our Facebook page. Huh? Yeah. Oh. That's true. I'm tired. Me too. It's 8 o'clock. It's That's it's early. It's still, it early. It's still a daylight outside. I know. Luckily, I checked all my plants this morning because I don't want to go out there tonight in the dark. Well, we were going to do my hair purple, but not tonight. I'm tired. Oh, I forgot about that today. Yeah. I need That's to do, next video. I need to do my hair again. Look at it. <laughs> it's all washed out. It's all Remember washed how, out. Our, our, how mermaids looked the other day? Oh, my butt hurts. Your what? Oh, my butt hurts from sitting here. <laughs> Hurt my butt. <laughs> hey, on, um, I, th I don't know if it's YouTube or Instagram, but this guy comes on and he talks about different aches and pains in your body yeah. and how to get rid of them. Uh -huh. And the other day, a woman was about when your butt hurts. Oh, really? Yeah, how do you get rid of it? I don't remember. Don't remember? I should have sent it to you. Hey guys, there's this thing I've been watching. Like, you know, with my dizzy spells, I'm always researching dizzy, dizziness. So, 
it said that if it stems from your neck, and remember, I've had a lot of issues with this side of my neck, but not lately. So, and I haven't had no dish, issues. I haven't been dizzy. Um, it's been well over a week, maybe even longer, but I've been laying at the opposite end of the bed, turning my head the opposite way. But, um, I watched this video and it said that, you know, I slouch. I always slouch. It says that as soon as you get dizzy, so you guys pay attention because if you guys get dizzy, so if you're, if you're slouching, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Just as soon as you get dizzy, no matter what you're doing, if you start getting lightheaded, not dizzy spinning, just like, whoa, you know, lightheaded like that. Um, sit up straight. Make sure your face is, is pointing straight. Now, if you had a book or something, like like I have this bag of candy, put it on your head. You don't have to do this part. But right where your head is to, to balance something is, well, I can't balance that, is where your head needs to be. And it says to make your face straight, make sure you tilt a little bit and make sure it's straight. Keep yourself straight. And if the dizzy spells go right away, it stems from your neck. So I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't been dizzy since I watched that. So I haven't been able to test that theory. Um, so if any of you guys are getting dizzy, do that. Do that. And then it said that if you... Remember back in the day, like in the olden days, where they used to make the girls walk proper with the book on their head or whatever. That aligns your head. Your head. When you balance, that's right where your head needs to be to align your neck. Um, so if you, you know, put a book on your head or whatever and just walk and turn around and walk back and walk and turn around and walk back, that is good alignment for your neck. This is what I'm seeing from a chiropractor video that I've been watching. Um, but like the dizzy spell, I haven't had a dizzy spell to test it. I've had anxiety. And like I said, after I see this therapist, um, I think it's, it's in May, um, as soon as I see them, I'm gonna might start taking that. Lim, I think it's Lamotri, Lamotri gene or something. I'm not sure. It's it's an it's for anxiety. Um, it's actually I think it's for seizures, but um, they use it to, for anxiety. But um, that's one way, you know. Look up um, chiropractor videos. I've been watching them a lot lately. Don't forget these. What is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Knock my ass out. <laughs> is that what it's for? I don't know. They're not for me today. I mean, that's the same thing Haley has. So I just figured okay. if he's going to throw them in the garbage, I might as well give them to Haley, you know? Yeah, true. So, yeah. All right, guys. So I was talking to Angie the other day about um, the dizzy spells and what you could do with the chiropractor video that I watched. And um, she told me that she had dizzy spells and um, it wasn't spinning room. It was just like, you know, like lightheadedness, woo, wooey. And um, she said that she got up and she got very lightheaded. She thought she was going to go straight down. She got to the kitchen. She was going to get to Tyler or Marcus. I can't remember. And um, she said that she went straight to the ground. She went down on her own because she didn't want to fall from standing. She wanted, if she was passing out, she wanted to be down close to the floor. So she got down there and when she went down like this, she said the dizzy spell went completely away. So it was the angle, it probably stemmed from her neck. It was an angle that she moved her head or her neck or whatever that she got to that point. I don't know how she went down or if she just went down on her knees and then she was sitting up straight because it, it was an angle that she moved her head and it probably stemmed from her neck. So if you guys have dizzy spells, it, if you've ever had any kind of neck pain, it could stem from your neck. I'm not, no doctor and I have, um, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but it's worth a try if you have dizzy spells. It's definitely worth a try. Mm -hmm. So if you ever have dizzy spells, sister, do that. I have them ropes in there. Oh, oh shit. There goes my other bottle. What? <laughs> What'd you say? I said I have them ropes in there to hold on to. So if you get dizzy, you Mondays. just hold on to the rope? My yeah. You know what, though? What? I, I, the other day, in the bathroom, 
I'm fine when I go to the bathroom and I, and in the mornings or in the middle of the night I go to the bathroom. It's when I stand up to turn around and flush the toilet, I feel, whoa, like I could fall back in the shower. Man, I was thinking, God, I think I need one of them things that Billy makes you. <laughs> like yeah. that I could just hold on to <laughs> so that I didn't fall. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But yeah, it's just, there's a couple of times that, um, you know, if I fill in that shower, I might die. Yeah. I, I, I really might. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should st try to start turning the other way. Or maybe I should get a handle on the wall. I know it sounds stupid, but, you know, that rope and that handle helps you. Mm -hmm. You know? Tyler tells me I'm falling apart. So I know. Babe. I know I am. I, I said, I don't know. It's just crazy. I just, I don't know. Tyler just turned 31. Ah. He's 27 years younger than me. I mean, we get along great, you know. He doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> and all he wanted to do on his birthday was play video games. And I'm like, that's what you do every day. Every day he plays video games. Um, so, but he's not sitting in a bar. He's not out running around with, you know, weirdos or whatever. He's <laughs> He stays home and plays his video games. So, but that's what he wanted to do on his birthday. What'd you get us? Nothing. 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 Dang. That's what I would tell you, but. I see pies and cakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ice cream. I see a popsicle. Yeah. You see a popsicle? Ooh. He got you more? Well, he got you more. more. He knows how I'm addicted. Oh, wow. Look but you had a whole too. box. Look at I'm addicted to. Mm. What? What is it? Buffalo wing. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll kill my heartburn. Actually, right now, my heartburn don't feel bad at all, guys. I'm shocked because of that. Yeah. I, almost forgot I thought cream. that burger was going to do I almost forgot the word cream. Cherry pie and apple pie. What is it? Cherry oh, little pie. pies. Yeah, apple and cherry. Oh, they're cute. Where's the whipped cream? Where did brought, you go? I almost forgot Publix. I almost forgot them. Where'd you get this? Publix. Publix. You want some pie? Four thirty nine for that little thingy pie. <laughs> whipped cream, whipped cream. Oh, you got the whipped cream. No, I don't want no pie. I know. Got yourself some fruit bars, Shirley. <laughs> it'll last you till tomorrow. Are you gonna eat a whole? How many's in a box? Got, six. You got one six of them. I know it's full. Are you still using this this deep freezer? Yeah, that's why I keep an eye on that light. Oh right there. yeah. 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 Did I tell y'all about my deep freezer? About, about a month it. or so ago. Oh my God! What is this? Maybe longer than a month ago, but whatever. We we didn't realize it was a, had come unplugged somehow because I back when I dug all these totes out. We use the plug a lot, huh? We use the plug a lot. It came undone. Yeah, yeah. But when you dug all the totes out, you push no, it up against it, right? We use the plug yeah. for that racking thing, and it got unplugged. Oh, and I couldn't see. That the, that the freezer got unplugged. So if you see green light, you're good. Red light. I don't know what prompted this to open it up, but when we did, woohoo! Smell like something crawled up in there and died. There's a, a bunch of chicken got right thawed out. Now go for a ride. Huh? Now go for a ride. Find something good. No, I got no, I got some. Yeah, I had to go there and get stuff. Anyhow, most of that, some of that food was bought. But a lot of it was um, the church donated, but it was still food. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm stretching yeah. my butt. Yeah. You were scratching your butt. Stretching my butt. It sounded like she said she was scratching her butt, didn't it? I wasn't scratching. I was stretching. Sometimes it hurts my tailbone when I sit too long. Oh, yeah. i got to find that video. Does your tailbone hurt? Not right now. I mean, like, if you sit too long? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else are we going to talk about? Whatever you want. <laughs> it's your turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spill your guts, sister. <laughs> now you've been doing that for me. I have been doing it for myself. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, you need that. Did you see the light flicker? Where? When? Just now. Didn't the light flicker? Probably. I don't pay attention to it. Because it's always flickering. We've got spirit here. Oh, no. John's in here. Flickering. Well, he might not be in here now because... <laughs> you're here. Well, he probably <laughs> likes you now. Now that he's gone, no. he probably likes her now. Who knows? Who cares? I did a, um, me and Henriette did an egg. It, I don't know what it is. I didn't know what to do. Henriette did it for me. 
It was this egg thing. It was an egg cleanse or something. I can't remember what she called it. <laughs> um, you, we didn't film it. Because she thinks something's attached to me too. She thinks that um, something evil or somebody's got trying to put a spell on me or something. That's what she thinks. So we did this um, return to cinder spell um, so that if anything was coming towards me or if somebody was trying to put a spell, a bad spell on me, it's going to go back to them three times fold. So it'll hit them. It'll backfire. Um, so we did that. And then she did this um, thing to cleanse my house. And it was, um, I think it was vinegar, water, and salt. I think it was vinegar, water, and salt. I can't really remember. Like I said, we didn't do it on camera. I was having one of my moments where I broke down and just, you know, I need to be, I need my whole body to be blessed. And I need, if there's anything on me, I need it gone. I, you know, I pray to God every day. Um, I thank God every day that I wake up. Let me know if some of you guys have them thoughts of, you know, am I going to wake up tomorrow? You know, I have all these aches and pains. Is, is, is it, I, I don't know if I'm scared to die. I guess maybe not knowing exactly that my heart's in the right spot. Like I feel like it's in the right spot, but not knowing exactly that it's in the right spot. I might be scared to die. You think maybe? Probably. Are you scared to die? No. Do you think your heart's in the right spot? I hope so. That's all you can do. I believe in the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior. Uh huh. I know that He died on the cross for our sins. I know that we have to ask Him to forgive us. Not God. Well, if you ask God to forgive you, you got to do it in His in the Son, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus' holy name. Mm -hmm. I believe all that stuff. John 3.16, I believe in that scripture. Yeah. You know the one, for God so loved the world that he gave his only death. Son, 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 that he is that, yeah. Leave it to him, shall not perish, but have everlasting. Right, I believe that. Yes. So. I do too. So when you believe it, but and you like, ask him to forgive you for your sins. Aren't we supposed to live a certain way? Yeah. But everybody's human too. Yeah. And nobody's so, perfect. So if you get something, like, you, I don't know, you stole money, whatever. I don't know. I'm just using that yes. for instance. Okay, you try to pay it back if you got the money to pay it back. That's re so, that's your repentance. Okay. Okay. Um, and just don't do it again. It just don't. Ask to, to, there's all kinds for, of sins. Ask to forgive you for doing that. Yeah, and try to pay it back. Okay. If you got, you know. Okay. Okay. Some religions believe in confessing your sins to a priest. Right, and I've seen that on TV. Where you well, I and, believe that you go, you confess it to, I don't know if you have to necessarily go to church, but it's better to go to church and go to the altar and pray and yeah. ask God to There's a lot of you. Holy Ghost there. Yeah, of, I love the Holy Ghost yeah. church. Like a Pentecostal. I yeah. love Pentecostal. Me too. Um, I don't, not, not saying that I'm a Pentecostal because I always, always, um, you know, we went to Baptist growing up. I went to the Nazarene mm -hmm. growing up. I went to, like up north, I went to the Nazarene for years the and years and years. The religious part ain't going to save you any. The religion part's not going to save you anyway. Yeah. Whether you go to the outside and pray on a, at a stump. As long as you're praying to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, that's what counts. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not the Pentecostal that's going to save you. It's not the Baptist or... Catholic or whatever. Okay. It's your relationship with Jesus Christ that's going to save you. Yeah. Now, so, as far as confession, your sins, well, we all have sin, have I don't know how to quote this. I know what I'm thinking. I just don't know how to quote it like the Bible does. But we've all come short. All and, sin and come short yeah, of the glory of God. Right. So, you know all that. Yes. So, if we confess our sins. What if there's sins that we did back in our back in the day and we don't remember them? I'm just asking to forgive you for those sins. Forgive me for the sins that I've sinned that I remember and the sins that I've sinned that I've forgotten about. I mean, you know, just, I am. My memory is so bad, and 
He says you only have to ask him one time. But and you're forgiven. Him. Yeah. So I may just already, don't do it. Just don't do it again. Right. I may already be forgiven for whatever it is, but I can't. Like I think, try to think back in the day, and try to think of you know. There's so many things that I don't remember. When I had that brain, when I had the swelling on my brain and it was in 2000, was it 2001? Haley was a baby or before yeah. she had worn one or the other? So I think it was 2001. Um, they thought I was going to die, you know? I, I, I guarantee you the way I am that I prayed and asked God to forgive me for all my sins at that moment. Because I didn't know if I was going, I didn't know if I was going to wake up the next day. So um, I lost a lot of my memory. When, when that happened and the swelling on my brain, I lost so much of my memory. But then sometimes if Shirley brings something up, like, oh yeah, I remember that. I totally forgot that. I remember, you know, you like if somebody name. brings it up, I would love to be hypnotized and them to ask me questions from whatever <laughs> and have it be in film. That would be the coolest thing ever. Have it be in film that I could get the answers to certain things that... Maybe I forgot. I don't know. But I know that since Shirley and I have been talking about things from the past and things from whenever, that there's times that she's brought up something that I totally forgot about. It's the about. same when I talked to my, our brother. He brought up stuff that I've totally forgotten about. But then you remember when yeah. he brought it up. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I just wish that I could talk to him. Just me and him. Yeah. Sometimes when we go over there, you and Wanda need to go out on the back patio and let her you're smoking and let me and Joe talk. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things I would like to ask him. He don't remember our sister Linda. At why all. don't you why don't you make a list? You could send it to his Facebook. Ask him these questions and have him just send the answer back to you. He can't read that well. Oh yeah, that's true. And yeah. um I he would that. be having her do it. Okay. Yeah. So, so you want to do it in person? Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing personal, personal that I wouldn't want her to know about. So I wouldn't want her to think that. It's just more comfortable of me and him just sit there and talk. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, but I asked it's him nice about, to reminisce. I asked him about our sister Linda, but he was only five. Yeah. So, so he, he said, I, all I remember is daddy crying. Aww. And mama crying. Yeah. But I don't remember the details. I said, well, it was daddy crying and asking God why and um, asking to forgive him because he believed that it was uh, his fault that Linda died because he was giving her a blood transfusion and she died on the yeah. operating table. Wow. So after that he started drinking trying to drown his um, sorrow. So yeah. That's so sad. It is. Maybe that's why Mama forgave him after he left us and then he when he come back to the Mama door. was a very forgiving person. I know. Oh, very forgiving. When he come back to the door and said, I want to come home, she just gave him a hug and welcomed him back in the door. She had some, I told y'all about that ex-in-laws, outlaws, that treated Marie so bad and was even hateful to Mama. But Mama just forgave him. She yeah. went out there, stood out there talking to the woman in, the, <laughs> in her car. You know that woman went to the nursing home Did she when Mama died. died. No, she went to the nursing home. She would go feed Mama for me. Ah, uh, she changed at the end. Good. She would go feed Mama for me. She, when I was married to Charlie, she treated me. Her and they all treated me. Oh, horribly. the brother treated her really, really horribly. Bad. We won't get into all that, but they treated me really, really bad. And uh, Charlie and I would say, you know, I, I would always say, Charlie, you know, if we never started talking to your mother, because he, he didn't talk to his mother very much. If we never started talking to your mother, we'd probably still be together. She bought us a house right next door to her. Well, that was the end of our relationship because she ruined it. Um, she ruined our relationship. And um, she ruined his next relationship. And then she tried to ruin the, the, the last one he was in, but they got the hell away from her. So he, so he didn't ruin that, but then he died on that on that lady. You know, they wasn't married. That him and her wasn't married, but he ended up dying on her. He had a heart attack. But um, yeah, that's, that was crazy. They they really treated me bad. But at the end, when Mama was in the nursing home, she would go to the. I think she was trying to make up for what probably. she what, what all she did to me. She I'm probably, she she, probably. she sent people to attack me, walking down the road with my son in my arms, and I you know. 
I was only Rolo 15. Got the nasty shit all over her I was arm. only 15 years old with a baby, and she had these people attack me. She, it was bad. I, I really think at the end she, she was so sorry for what she did. She, she seen that her kids all turned to drugs, and her kids were all out of control, and I was still in control of my life, and um. I think she felt bad. She would go. She would go feed Mama for me and everything. Um, it's just, it's just crazy. It really is. When Mama died, remember she, she rode me in her limousine, mm -hmm. and she stopped and waited. She stopped the limousine and waited and let me watch them lower the, the um, casket into the ground. I remember that. It's so crazy. Vince, my ex-husband, the boy's daddy, he had a sister Betty that hated me from the day she met me. and um, I didn't realize Betty hated you. Oh yeah, and be before she died. Well, I was Sue, I was thinking of Sue, never now, mind. Sue and, Sue and Jeannie were good. Yeah. But um, Sue is, was Susie's mom. Anyhow, she was, she was sweet. But Betty hated me. She hated everybody, I guess. But I guess she thought I was taking Vince away from her. Her brother lived there with his two daughters. At when I first met him, anyhow, before she died, she completely changed too. Oh, really? Yeah, and she asked me to forgive her. Aw, yeah. I mean, so if somebody knows they're dying, um, yeah, that, that they should, their heart should change. Yeah. I don't think everybody does, but they should. I, in my opinion, that seems like they would want to. Right. I mean, if you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I think that I would want to know if I was if 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 I was going to die in two months, I would want to know. Okay, that's a good question for y'all. I want to be prepared. I do happen. too. I want to so know when my know. time is. If it if my last day was going to be tomorrow, tomorrow, or whatever, I would want to know. know. I too. would too. Would I would want to be right with God. Would y'all want to know if if the day you're going to die? Would y'all? For some reason, God don't let everybody know no. that. No. He don't even let you know when the Lord's coming back. Jesus is coming back no. for the rapture, the second coming, or whatever you want to call it. No. He won't let nobody know that. People per like to predict it, but they don't know. Only God knows. Right. So, would y'all want to know when your time is, your time to die you is? I might have asked that before. Speaking about, speaking about getting right, wanting to know and being right with God. I want to. I, want, I just want to bring this up, and this this might be a little. It's it's a little bit off subject, but somebody that I used to hang around with is spreading all kinds of rumors about me, saying that that I talked bad to them when they were in the hospital and found out they had cancer, and I never talked bad to this person. And I said, well, what did they say I said? And here's exactly what they said I said. She told me I better get right with God. That is exactly what I said. I said, I will be praying for you. You better get right with God. But maybe, it was a text message. It wasn't even, uh, so it couldn't have been my tone of voice because it was a text message. But that is what I said. And if, if I knew Shirley was going tomorrow, I would tell her. My words to her would be, get right with God. If I knew Thomas was going, Thomas, my words to you would be, you better get right with God. It's not being mean. It's meaning that you, we all should get right with Here God. Here it is. I'll tell you. And this one, person, one, hold on one second. This person is telling people how mean I was to them. Uh, and I was never mean to this person. Does that person believe in God? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. And it's not a family member. So I'm not going to say who it is, but she knows who she is. And I never said anything bad to her. I said, I will be praying for you. You better get right with God. In a text message. So, off that subject. But okay, let me tell ahead. you. When John was in the hospital and doctor gave him so long to live. Two weeks. Okay. Right? Or no, yeah. he said six months. Yeah, what, what, my, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, you knew he was dying. The preacher came in. He's a preacher that John loved, and he went to his church, the preacher in Brooksville. Mm -hmm. He said to John, are you sure you're right with the Lord? And John says, yes, I am. So it's the same thing. You better make sure you're right with the Lord. Yes. Well, the preacher asked John, and I heard him. I, know, I even know the date. It was January the 20th. 
2022. He said, are you sure you're right with the Lord? And John said, yes, I am. Yep. Right there. That's the same thing Marie said to that woman. Maybe not in the but exact what, words. But what else did he say to, to the preacher? He told the preacher he didn't want so-and-so knowing things about yeah, his no, life. Well, we, we don't need that. to get into all that, but he did talk to the preacher about yes, a he lot did. of stuff. He did, and the preacher knows everything. He knows how his heart is. Yep. He knew how his heart was. He couldn't even um, imagine the situation that John was talking about to begin with ever happening to a between a family member and we won't get on that subject. I might have talked to somebody about it, but right now the, the topic is, are you sure you're right with the Lord? Right. Yeah. And a preacher asked John that. Well, Marie asked the, her friend on Facebook. It was on text message. Text message. It was somebody that I used to hang out with that I do not hang out with because they slandered me. And it's not a family member. Um, but yeah, I, I, I asked her. You know, all I said was she, she told me that she she's in the hospital and she's got cancer. And I said, I will be praying for you. You better get right with God. That's not Maybe it was me. the way you said it. I, it was text message. How do I say No, it? honey. The people can... Sorry, they missed it. People can read... Your text message wrong? Yeah. Yeah. And when you said you better get right, you... Maybe you should have reworded it and said, are you sure you're right with the yeah, Lord? Yeah, that's probably what I should have said. That's yeah. what it is. That's probably what I should have well, said. Well, because that's how the preacher But it wasn't it. being mean. I know she wasn't. I was not being mean. And, um, I and hope, if she was any I still kind of pray friend, for this person. Was she any but, kind of a friend? Well, I thought she was, but then well, she it slandered me. So, no, if, I guess I would never be her friend again. But I still pray for her. I pray for my enemies. I pray yeah, for people that back me. So do I. Me. You're supposed to. Um, you're supposed to love your enemies. I pray... Me. Pray for all of them. I, so, okay, so, so when you love somebody as if, I mean, there's a lot of my uh, relatives. Love thy enemies as thyself. There's a lot of my relatives that's treated me like shit yeah. that I shouldn't forgive or love, but I do. Yeah. But that's because they're my family. But a, like a stranger, you're supposed to love them too? It's hard. Love your enemies. Well, maybe a stranger wouldn't be your enemy. Love, I don't know. It's, I mean... Let's get on the subject of love. <laughs> oh now, my lord! Now she's making me think. Well, you know we gotta think I because I I want to know that if I died tomorrow, I'm going to heaven. I know. You know, I'm going into the light. I am not stopping to come haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't make it into the light, I'm haunting some people really bad. <laughs> but hopefully, I make it into the light. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can come back and forth. Maybe. Well, that'd be nice. I don't know. But my battery's dying, so I guess we should just end this video. It's getting late. Look at blinking again. All right, guys. We I don't love know. you. Let me know what you think. Leave us comments. I want to see lots and lots of comments. Yeah, please. Do. I love you, and I will see we you. We will answer them all. Yes. See you on the next video. Peace, Bye, -bye guys. everybody. Bye. See ya.